One of the things that pleased me um, the most about this government's response to the global pandemic has been the fact it was schools that were the last institutions to close and the first to reopen. Because the classroom is the best environment for children to learn. And the vast majority of teachers in Peterborough and the support staff agree with this. And Madam Deputy Speaker, they were chomping at the bit to return. But of course, it was the Labour councillors in Peterborough who on social media and in newspaper columns scared parents, peddled conspiracy theories about the effects of COVID on children and said that children should not return. And this undoubtedly led some parents to keep their children away unnecessarily, impacting on their future. And I make no apologies for holding them to account for this. Because again, undoubtedly, they took their lead from the national leadership of the Labour Party, who repeatedly refused to say that schools were safe. But despite the fact today we're repeating the same debate from last week, there are just three points I really wish to uh, re-emphasise. The first is that Peterborough schools have coped well. We did come together and support one another during the pandemic in Peterborough, and schools played their part. But they will, as we recover, need support. And that is why more money into targeted tutoring is welcome. That's why more money into teacher training support is welcome. And that is, that is why more money into mental health is welcome. Secondly, let's remember what the Labour Party said about schools at the last election and what their priority would be if they were now in government. Their priority would be to abolish academies, abolish Ofsted, abolish league tables. Madam Deputy Speaker, while we build back, they would tear down. And this brings me back to my final point and a point that I made last week. Because if Labour was serious about recovery, they would embrace with an open mind the idea about extending the school day. Because this would be welcomed by parents. It would improve physical fitness. It would improve the social skills of young people. And of course, it would improve academic attainment. The buildings are there. They are open. Let's use them to properly catch up. And I speak all the time with head teachers in my constituency who would back this and embrace it 100%. If it's good for them to embrace, then we should embrace it too.